So to be honest, um, I am what you would call GPU poor. So I'm not sure if it will work on my machine or my Linux machine. I have high hopes for my MacBook. The GPU I'm using here is quite old, extremely old. It's a GTX 970. So, <laughs> so like and subscribe. Um, hopefully we can become um, GPU rich with your help. Hey there guys, what is good? Tino here and welcome back to Hello World. If you've been paying attention to anything that's been happening in the AI world, specifically anything to do with audio generation, so voice cloning, text-to-speech, all that stuff, you might have come across QTI Labs, which is a French research lab, and their whole thing is to open source all of the work that they do. A few months ago, they came out with a demo for Moshi, um, which was pretty cool. So there was a promise to do the speech-to-text model, which they did a few weeks ago. And a couple of days ago, they followed up with the text-to-speech model, which is the really exciting part. So in this video, I'm going to be having a go at downloading the model, testing it out on my local machine. So I have a Linux machine here and a MacBook Pro. So we're going to see how well it does on both of those. And as a stretch goal, they've also released the Unmute service. So if you go on their website, they have this demo where you can speak to the AI in real time. It has this cool user interface that you can click between different voice modes. It's a really good showcase for what this model can do. And they've just decided to open source that so you can have a go at hosting it yourself. So that one is going to be a stretch goal because I'm not sure if my computer is going to be able to run it, but we're going to try anyway. Now, with all that said, let's have a go at trying to do the first thing, which is installing the model and seeing if we can actually get some good quality voices out of this. All right, so we're on the computer now. Hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing. And we are going to start off by downloading this repository on GitHub, which contains their delayed streams modeling project. It basically has a few examples and instructions on how to run the text-to-speech model and the speech-to-text model. So let's just do that. Um, I'm going to be using the Gemini CLI to handle everything. So I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to start Gemini and give it the, the URL and also the readme for context on the project. Um, so let's just start by basically copying the readme, highlighting everything and passing it to Gemini as context. So to be honest, um, I am what you would call GPU poor. So I'm not sure if it will work on my machine or my Linux machine. I have high hopes for my MacBook. The GPU I'm using here is quite old, extremely old. It's a GTX 970. So, <laughs> so like and subscribe. Um, hopefully we can become um, GPU rich with your help, which will give us the ability to test out bigger and bigger models and play around with them. All right, so I've given it context and now I'm going to give it the URL for GitHub and I'm going to tell it to just basically clone and start the project. Hopefully you won't need any of my input to do all of that, but let's see. Here is the link to the GitHub repo. Please, always say please to your AI. Clone and run this project. Wonderful stuff. Paste. So let's clone the repository and it's noticed that there's a few ways to run this project. Um, so down here, it basically explains that there are a couple of ways that you can run it. So PyTorch, if you're trying to do some research, the Rust server, that's if you're trying to do a production deployment and MLX, this one is for any Apple devices. So if you're trying to do inference on a iPhone or MacBook, um, since we're on Linux, we're going to go with the Rust server, hopefully. And while that is happening in the background, let's have a listen to what the actual model is supposed to sound like. I heard a small demo earlier and I was surprised to hear a Geordie accent coming from an AI voice model, which is something that I never hear. And in this tweet, which I'll try to link in the description of this video, I'll play you a small clip just so you understand what the voice model should sound like. We have a real special treat for you tonight. QTI has just open sourced their text to speech model as well as unmute. The TTS comes with loads of voices, each based on a 10 second recording. It picks up on the clip's voice, emotion, intonation, accent, and the acoustic conditions. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, <clears throat> that one there was what I wanted you to hear. And um, the way it picks up the sort of like Geordie accent, proper northern accent i've had a few instances where i've tried to clone my voice and it definitely got the sound of my voice correct but the accent is something that most of the um, models i've tried in the past have failed at because sometimes i have a weird accent depending on what mood i wake up in so all right so back to the installation let's see what it says all right so it's been about 10 minutes of gemini trying to run this model on my gpu poor 
Linux machine. Um, it went through all of the dependency installations. We had a lot of missing Python dependencies. Um, it went through all of that, no issue. In the end, we came across this CUDA out of memory error, insufficient GPU memory. So basically, even though the model is lightweight, it's not lightweight enough to be run on my extremely old GPU. Okay, on to the next thing. We're going to try to run this on the MacBook. Hopefully that fares a little bit better. Okay, so it looks like the MacBook setup was a lot more straightforward. I went through the same steps as I did on the Linux machine, um, gave it the readme as context and asked it to basically clone this repository and install and run the TTS model. Also told it that it's on a MacBook so that it knows to use the MLX setup file. So that went through no issue. It then went ahead and did this shell test. Hey, like and sub to hello world. All right, so I'm asking it to make a quick front end interface that I can use to interact with this model and also any other functions that might be available in this in this repository that I haven't come across yet. It appears the QTI TTS model, specifically the MLX implementation we're using, doesn't directly expose an option to change voices via a command line argument in ttsmlx.p or through the Moshi MLX package. The model QTI is a single model that supports both English and French, but it doesn't seem to offer multiple distinct voices within those languages. All right, I guess that was, um, that's a bit of a disappointment. I really wanted to play around with the other voices available with the model. Maybe there is an option. Maybe the AI is lying to me. I'll need to do a bit of research into that. All right, so I haven't really found much on the topic of trying to change the voice in this current model. Um, but this is the this is just like a first impression. So I'll have to do a bit of digging to see if we can actually change the voice. But on their website, they do sort of like hype up the fact that this model is designed for generating audio files that are longer than 30 seconds. Most of the other open source models out there apparently struggle with that, which is all cool. But the main issue is that um, some of you might be looking for something to do voice cloning with and they unfortunately don't offer a solution for that. They're saying that they don't offer that to basically ensure that people's voices are not unconsensually cloned. On their repo, there's a discussion where people are sort of like making comments on this. And the general sentiment is that um, this pretty much hamstrings the model and limits what people can do with it. And because of that, this really has no value to a lot of people who are using it for special use cases like video game characters, personalized support agents. A lot of use cases basically go out the window because we are not able to clone voices with this model. I guess there is a way to switch voices um, they have put the voices inside a different repository on Hugging Face, which I guess is almost like an attachment or downloadable content. If you are happy with the voices that they have to offer, I guess you would have to go through the process of going through all of this and attaching it to your application. But yeah, pretty cool. I guess if you're looking for it, that's the option to use the pre-approved voices. If you're looking to clone your voice, unfortunately, that's not an option with this model. All right, guys. So it's been a few hours since I did my last little test and um, I finally got something to work. We basically are self-hosting the unmute.sh project. So as you can imagine, after my last test, I wasn't able to get it to run on my local machine. So I basically rented out this GPU from Lambda. Um, I think I rented out the cheapest one, um, 70 cents an hour. SSH'd into it and cloned the repository. Good thing is the server had a lot of the dependencies already installed since Lambda specifically focus on people who are working on ML projects. If you're going to try to do this, just make sure that you have your hugging face token. And on top of that, you need to make sure that you have gotten the license from Meta. Once you export your hugging face token into the environment, you should be able to run the build and compose. That's all you really need to do if you're using um, if you're using Lambda. It's not a sponsored video. Um, I just had a few credits on Lambda that I wanted to use. All right, so self-hosting works. Let's see if we can actually um, listen to it and it speak to it oh okay so i guess we have an error here we need to um allow access microphone access okay so let's quickly see what we can do well this is strange it won't let me change the microphone settings for this site another roadblock hey eh? let's see if we can get past this one surely it should not be as hard as getting the website to run 